Here we go, thrifting, episode five, I believe. We're here at Value Village, and they moved the hats, but we found this Clint Boyer hat. Definitely not a whole lot of hats anymore here. And then they had this um, kid champion kind of plaque, which they marked it for five bucks and put it in the back. I really wanted to get it, but I passed on it. Also found this Excedrin Racing seat cushion with some white stainage on there. Not sure what that's for. It has a net on the back of it to help store stuff in. Also saw this Dale Jarrett mug, which I passed on. It's a big mug. So next up, we're on Dale Earnhardt Boulevard Goodwill. Found a ton of stuff here, including these Victory Lane hats from 2007 Pocono, uh, 2009 Daytona, 2002 Daytona, which was probably my favorite hat, a random Travis Quapel Kodak racing hat, and a 2008 Daytona Coors Light hat. There's also an Infineon Raceway hat, which I passed on, and a Robbie Gordon Jim Beam hat, which I also passed on. Scrolling through the shirt, saw this Gibbs sweatshirt, which I definitely grabbed. Uh, real nice and heavy, perfect for winters here. Found a Jennifer Joe Cobb shirt, which of course I picked up. That's so obscure. Then I saw a Joey Logano 2017 shirt, new with tags. Definitely had to pick that one up. And scrolling down the line, saw this Ganassi sweatshirt. These are pretty common, the most I've seen, so I passed on that. And then this came out of the corner of my eye. I wasn't sure how they hung this on the hanger. It was pretty weird looking. TRG Motorsports definitely picked this up. This was one of my favorite pickups. The fleece was so perfect. Now we're off to another Goodwill in Kannapolis. Found this Dale Jr. visor. Wasn't anything special in the hats like last time. Quite a few stuff, including some Astros garbage. Um, but yeah, going through the shirt, saw this Chris Brown tour hoodie from the party tour had fabulous on the bottom which was pretty interesting passed on that scrolling through the shirts here and we saw this um this kevin harvick shirt wasn't a fan of the back graphic so i passed on it um uh, yeah i saw this khi yellow shirt didn't have any graphics on the back so passed on that as well kevin harvick heavy i guess Next up, we have a uh, Outlaw Cart shirt, which I thought was pretty interesting, but um, ultimately passed on that. My stepdad found this World Touring Car Championship shirt, which has an all-over graphic, which is sick, so of course we pick that up. Off to our last stop of the night, Poplar yeah, Tent Goodwill. It's dark now. Scrolling up, and we see this Peter Max out of nowhere. Hey guys, Wimmer here. Just seeing if it's okay. Uh, got had a real nice night thrifting tonight. Got three bags worth of stuff. Absolutely insane night. Let's uh, go through what I picked up. First off, I didn't show this on camera, but for two dollars, I did pick up this um, Bobby Hillen Healing Myers uh, promo. This was a promo for the time. Uh, made by Accurate Miniatures, but uh, more specifically Ravel. So it is a, it's an early action mold. I'll set that in the back there. And then um, showed this briefly on camera, but my stepdad actually found this. And I was really surprised to see it. Uh, it's an all-over shirt. We're going to do the draping thing. Monroe Performer. And uh, World Touring Car Championship shirt. Very nice. That was... Uh, $2.99 pickup. It is pretty hard to find those all over uh, graphic tees. I throw my bag. That was it for um, the first Canapolis Goodwill. Uh, went to Poplar Tent. Picked up a few more shirts that I didn't show on camera, uh, including this New Japan Pro Wrestling t shirt. Uh, it is a large, it's got Japanese writing on the back. It is amazing. And then I've seen this shirt around um, it, um, Race City Speed Gear on Facebook's group. Finds these all the time, and I am so glad to finally find my own uh, NBC NASCAR t-shirt. This is the newer one. Uh, it's pre-shrunk, so I can wear it and then wash it freely. Also, I did pick up, like I said, that Dale Earnhardt tie-dye 124, that Peter Max car. 
uh, one thing that does kind of, uh, that I didn't see right away was that somebody colored in the good wrench. So I'll have to clean that off, but it is pretty interesting to find a Dale Earnhardt Senior car just sitting around in the Kannapolis Concord area. So now for the Dale Earnhardt Boulevard pickups, Coors Light pole hat. A lot of these hats are, um, aren't in the best of shape, but this is a pole hat from Daytona 2009, I believe, hang on, let me look, 2008, uh, I think Truex won that year, didn't he? Something like that. I also picked up this Travis Quapel hat. One thing I didn't notice before was how sweat stained it is, but if we wash that or hand wash it, it can come out, and it does say Travis Quapel on it. Uh, you can't even see that. There we go. Travis Quapel, 77. Um, also found the, I always find these Victory Lane hats, and I know they're pretty worthless, but uh, if you could get a specific date, people will eat that up. 2009 Victory Lane. This could have been for from multiple races. Could have been a duel. Could have been the 500. Could have been the Coke Zero 400. I don't know. Uh, Pocono 2007. Next saw Cup Victory Lane hat. And then my favorite, the Winston Noble 5 hat from Daytona 2002. And this is interesting because it is embroidered over the Chase Authent uh, Authentics logo. So, picked up quite a few hats there on Dale Earnhardt Boulevard. Also picked up, hang on a second, this XL Joe Gibbs Racing uh, sweatshirt. It's an Oakley and it looks awesome. Uh, so that'll be nice, nice to wear in winter time. And uh, picked up this uh, pretty interesting shirt. If I could fold it the right way. Uh, the first race at Eldora, I believe. No, this uh, this is about fourteen or fifteen. The Jennifer Joe Cobb and Joe Cobb shirt, a Cobb family tradition. I thought that was so cool, finding a Jennifer Joe Cobb T-shirt at a Goodwill. Next up, I found this new with tags. A Joey Logano 2017 shirt, I believe. Yeah, 2017. It says Monster. Uh, it is a medium, but it does. It is new with tags. I paid $2.99 for this, and it has a tag for $26.99 on it, which is uh, pretty awesome to find a brand new shirt at Goodwill with tags on it, especially a racing one. Um, a weird thing I found was a fleece from TRG Motorsports. Hang on, let me. Uh, I'm going to pick you up here so you can see that. Uh, it is a nice big fleece. The front says TRG. It says Weatherproof Garment Company, which is a pretty sick uh, fleece. I believe it is an XL, if I'm not mistaken. It doesn't matter. It's a fleece, and it's very comfortable. I can tell I'm going to like that one. And then finally, I did pick up a, uh, a Carrie Underwood t-shirt. Don't ask why. It is a uh, tour t-shirt, and those get... Hard to find as the years go on, so I figured might as well pick it up, put it away, and hope it gains value. So, uh, thanks for watching these thrifting videos, guys. Uh, I had a gut feeling I should probably go thrifting, and I'm glad I did, because uh, this was my biggest haul in months. I believe it's since last year. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. I'll see you later.